Hey everyone, it's Alithia here, and today I have another Woos World update video. Builder Jack is back, and along with him, there is a brand new massive grindy questline. We start off with this news article. I just like to put it as a note, I don't know how to make this accent, and I don't want to, you know, mess it up, so I'll just read it in the best way that I can. Howdy woozins, it's your old pal Builder Jack here. If we haven't met yet, what the heck are you doing here? Head over to your quest journal and come meet me in my shop. I've got an awesome adventure that you don't want to miss out on. If we've already met, I'd like to thank you for all of your help in finding the blueprints for my new shop expansion. You wouldn't believe how much work it was to put that sucker together. And wouldn't you believe it, this handyman found even more blueprints to build, well, even more units. Check them out below. Anyhow, your old pal Jack is back in action and I'm ready to show you my brand new shop expansion. It's got it all couches, a kitchen, and a hecking nice workshop area. Of course, you've already seen my workshop. You know your pal Jack is a simple man, doesn't need too much space. But I've decided to share the new space with someone very special, near and dear to my heart, you know? Make your way over to your quest journal and find out who the new shop expansion is for. You may even make a new friend along the way. Once you complete the whole adventure, check your pockets for some knee-slapping co colored tokens, sorry, as a thank you for me. But hold your horses, newcomers. In order to peep your eyes out for the shop expansion, you have to complete the first adventure Old Jack prepared for you. See you, Builder Jack. Well, that was a wonderful introduction, wasn't it? Without any further ado, let's make our way into the quest. Okay, so we just traveled over here to his workshop and he has something to say. He spent some time introducing us to the topic and, you know, saying that, oh, we must think he looks so good, which we don't, but, you know, he believes that, so let him. And he pretty much introduces the idea of what we're going to do, who we're going to meet, and how that will affect us as the player. So we quickly head to the Wuzen airport and, you know, that should have been a hint for me, but it wasn't, so I just went there in my pajamas. It happens. Um, I look around a little bit, we say that, you know, the airport is pretty busy, so we're trying to find who to click. And after looking for a little bit, I stumble across Nora, which is our main character for this story. We keep shouting across the entire airport, which makes me glad to not be an employee there. And we pretty much get to know her, we pick her up, and then we are asked to go back to the workshop. We go back to the new place. And pretty much she goes, oh no, I need, you know, these very special items, but first I need to nap, which mood, I think we can all relate to that. And so we leave her to rest. And here's where I got confused. I had no idea what they meant by this because it didn't really explain it. So I just teleported back to my unit just to chill out and to see if maybe it was like a minute thing, like you had to wait 10 minutes or if it was something like that. And no, it, it turns out that you literally just have to keep going back and forth between two units 10 times total so that she can nap quicker. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Um, I could have sat there and waited like two hours. So, you know, maybe a little bit more instructions on that part would be better or, you know, just a little bit more informative. But whatever, we did that and then we head back to the workshop yet again. So we completed our quest, we went up there and we woke up Sleeping Beauty and she tells us that she wants us to read a certain scientific magazine. After we do that, we see a portrait or a picture rather of Walter who is apparently like a class A explorer which is hilarious and you will see why I think that in just a little bit. We go over there and we see Walter and there he is in a frozen part of Wu's world dressed in nothing but shorts and a shirt, no protective gear whatsoever. And listen, 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 okay? I am in my pajamas. I am wearing flip-flops. I cannot complain, but at least my character doesn't whine about it. He just sits there while I do all of the work and he's just shivering. It's pathetic. But you know what? I love him for it. I love him for it. He seems like a great character. We learned that there are three different tools or three different chests rather um, that are very rare, they're artifacts, and our friend Walter here has found it nearly impossible to find them. He simps over Nora a little bit, um, he wasn't really 
willing to help us out, but as soon as he heard her name, he was like, oh yeah, absolutely, which, you know, simp behavior, but we live for that in 2022, I guess. And this now is my favorite part of the entire quest line so far i came in here not knowing anything i have no idea what this was about i didn't look up any guides because i believe that it takes away from my experience and there's the first question that i saw which was like how many seats are there in the theater i didn't know that why would i know that i don't think anybody knows that so there i go heading over to the theater and i start counting now most of you don't know me but the friends that i have that do watch my videos and that do know me know that i'm extremely bad at any kind of math and anything that counts, anything that has numbers involved, I suck at it. I stood there and I counted these seats for like 10 minutes because I kept losing track of where I am. I actually am super bad. Like I can count up to maybe 20. And then after that, it just becomes super difficult for me for some reason, I don't know. Anyway, here's a quick montage of how many times and how much I spent, like how much time I spent in there counting these things. It was horrible. So feel free to bully me, feel free to laugh. It's great, I, I take it. Finally, the hell is over, and there we go, 108 seats. It is 108 seats, but beware. If you leave the room, or the units rather, you have to go through all of it again, and I didn't know that, so I had to keep doing it every single time I progress to the next question. I wanted to let you guys know all of the answers that I figured out by myself. I'm super proud of that one, so I will also put them on the screen for you to see easily. But question number one, 108. Question two, three. Question three, Pater, if that's how you say it, I'm sorry if anyone from Woo's World is watching this, I'm completely butchering it, I'm sorry. Uh, and question four is 11. I personally really enjoyed this quest line. I enjoyed exploring. I didn't really expect to like it, but I think it was quite fun, you know, going around, counting things, you know, just, just doing things for fun because why not? And I really, really enjoyed that. But if you don't enjoy that, there's nothing wrong with that. If you would rather read a guide on or get the answers from me, that is completely okay. Just do what you enjoy. After all, this is a game and it's meant to be played for fun. I'd also like to say why I'm not really 
editing all of the footage out. So there are definitely parts that I have cut out, but I also feel like this is sort of a gameplay video and if I wanted to make a really quick guide, I could definitely do that and maybe I will do that. But I think that this video specifically, what I want it to be is kind of like a sped up gameplay to see that, you know, not everything is perfect, not everybody knows everything. You just kind of have your own pace and your own way of doing things and that's okay. I don't know if my rambling makes sense, I hope it does, and if it does, then I hope you take it well and you understand what I mean, so yeah, enjoy the gameplay footage. After all of this is done, and we get to the next portal, we need to go around and collect different pages. Um, these pages contain a password that this wonderful person called Max Woods apparently lost, so <laughs> that's great. And we have to go on this quest where we fetch all of them, and pretty much we have to travel around all of the areas in Woo's world, like the main ones. So we start off with like Hollywoods and we go on to the Lib Street stuff and we just make an entire tour, which I think is wonderful. Um, I also had the unluck, I don't think that's a word, but I was also in unlucky enough to find the page in pretty much the last place that I checked in each of these areas. That was great, um, but it was also kind of fun. So I will also show you guys that and I will also pin down where exactly the pages are if you don't want to find them yourself. I will just put it right there, maybe in the description or in the video somewhere um, to show you where exactly the page is. We find the last page at the beach and from there on our story continues. We pretty much put in the code and the pad works. And so after that we go to the chest, we get the other tool and then we progress to the final level. The final level we are met with a surprise and we actually have to take out zombies and we have to figure out how to do it. So. Being the smart thing that I am, I tried to pull out all of the tools that we had, I tried clicking them, I tried using emotes or more like, you know, poses and stuff like that, and that didn't really work, so the game was like, you know, maybe you should take the hint, and they asked me to pick up snowballs and throw them at the mummies, and that's pretty much how you take care of them. After we take them out and we successfully retrieve all of the tools that are needed, this Walter guy pretty much embarrasses himself and he's like, oh my god, I can't believe you did that, I would have never done it, I couldn't even get one of the tools, which is like, dude, this is your job, what are you even doing? But that's a topic for another video. <laughs> and then after that, we go back to our sleeping beauty, Nora, and we pretty much give her the tools and we have another quest. And this quest is to create different items using a bunch of materials. Now. If you were smart, you would have probably saved your stuff, but if you're like me, you probably either sold that or on the marketplace or you used them for something else. So it turned out that I had about 300 pellets that I needed for this thing, but I sold all of them. And you know, now I'm filthy rich, but you know. So pretty much I had to go on this farming spree and I had to get all of them, which is pretty difficult. I think one of the main things that I hate about collecting aluminum and plastic plastic rubbles and stuff, is the fact that the spawn rate is so low. It's so low compared to the logs. You go to the forest and it's full of logs and maybe we'll see a little bit of like plastic rubble there, maybe something else, but that's about it. And I've also seen some of them in the mine on the first level, which I don't think is an appropriate place at all. So I really hope that Wu's World eventually makes a place where you can access these items more easily because you do need lots of them. Anyway, after all of this is done, we will collect some items and we will make some more items and the quest will continue. I haven't been able to complete it just yet because I need so many materials, but after I gather them and after I make all of that stuff, perhaps I will make an update to this video or maybe like I will showcase the entire quest line. I don't know. I will see how to do that and figure it out on my own if I believe that there is anything noteworthy. If it's just crafting until the very end, then I won't really progress on it because I feel like everybody can do that on their own in their own time. Anyway, that was all for me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!